Hello and welcome to the station. Today we're going to be animating a great white shark in Blender. If it's your first time here, I want to invite you to open up Blender right now and follow along with me. And if it's not your first time, then welcome back. Before we jump in, uh, I'm going to assume uh, that you watched part one, part two, part three, and part four, and now we're ready to animate. Okay, let's bring Bob to life. So up here, we're in the, the default workspace. Let's jump into the animation workspace. And if you're too far away, you can just hit the period key and it'll, it'll bring it right into frame. Now I'm in pose mode uh, and you can see that because everything is lit up. If say we're in object mode just by default, um, select your rig and then just hit pose mode. Okay. And you should see one, one of your bones should light up blue and that kind of lets you know that you're in pose mode. Now that you're in pose mode, we can pose Bob. All right. So come down here to the dope sheet and change it to action editor. We want to create an action for Bob. That's essentially all animations are, right? Any posed rig is an action, whether it's a smile or a frown or whatever. Okay, so we want to create a new action right here. And we're going to call this action a pose. Okay, and I don't mean a pose like this is a pose and this is another pose. I mean a as in Bob looks like the letter a. Okay, and this is a very common pose in character modeling, in drawings of all, all types. So this is an A pose and we're going to create this. So now when you export Bob, so you export Bob into a different software or a game engine, the default is just going to be the A pose. Okay. So it'll, it, it'll just go into that world looking like this. Okay. Before you do anything, uh, get your shield, select your shield, activate your shield. Okay. And the shield protects you in case we delete something later on or clear something later on or blow something up later on somewhere else. If we do something that is not good for us, um, the shield saves the data. So we can always come back to right here, this a pose, no matter what we do, as long as your shield is activated. Okay. Activate your shield. Now we don't have anything yet for our, our pose. So let's Let's make a keyframe. Okay. There's loads of different ways to animate. You can animate with geometry nodes. You can, you can animate procedurally. You can animate with math. It's, it, it, it's pretty impressive. Um, there are some ag aggressively technical ways to animate. Um, that way there'd be dragons. The, the lowest hanging fruit, if you're a beginner and you're just starting out animate, start with keyframes. Okay. This is how all animations are built. You go keyframe by, by keyframe, keyframe by keyframe. So let's, let's make a keyframe. First thing we want to do is select all of our, we, we want to keyframe every one of these bones. So let's select everything with a, and then insert with I a keyframe for location and rotation. Now, every bone on our rig has a keyframe on this frame with the location and rotation of where it is right now. Also, if you don't like looking at this uh, the gray, you can hit this down carrot and uh, hit texture and then activate shadow and cavity. Um, the type you want both and then bump all of these presets up as much as they can go. And there, there we go. Okay. Now we have the a pose set. So wherever you are, save your work. Okay. So we have that action. So now if you open this up in a, a game engine, you're ready to roll. Now let's add a new action. Let's make Bob swim. So the action of swimming. So I'm going to hit this new action icon down here, right? And we're going to call this swimming pose and we're going to activate our shield. Now I'm going to hit numpad seven to jump into top view. And before I do anything, I want to turn auto King on because a lot of times we can, you know, if we're posing or we're moving our rig around, we might forget to insert a keyframe and this does that automatically. Okay. This, this is your friend right here. Working smarter, not harder. Okay. So I'm going to rotate this just a scotch and then rotate this just a scotch. And then rotate these just a scotch. Okay. So now come back to the first frame. And if you click and drag, you can select everything here. Now hit control C and then go to the last frame, go to the 101st frame 
and hit Control V to paste. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to put these on the hundredth, and I'm going to make this 99, um, just because of what we're going to do literally right now. If you bring uh, your mouse, select the 50th keyframe, and now if you now here's some Blender magic. This is this is really wonderful. We want to mirror this. We want to get this exact same thing on the other side, okay? And if you hit Control Shift V, Blender gives it to you, okay? So just like that. We got, we only moved, we posed our shark one time. We used some copy paste magic and now we've got, we've got it moving. So if you hit play, you can see just like that, we got a shark tail. Okay. There you go. Shark tail moving. Okay. There you go. Not bad. Now, you might think this is cyclical, but it's not. This is only on a loop. But if we want to export this to an engine and have this run ad nauseum, um, you need to let it know. So if we have everything selected and we go Shift E, you want to set the F curve extrapolation, make cyclic right here. Boom, select that. And now, this thing will run forever and ever and ever. Okay. So there's Bob the shark just swimming in the deep blue sea, hanging out, being a boss. No big deal. It's just uh, just handling his business. All right. And you can you can animate this to make it look as lifelike or as exaggerated as you want to. You know you can really play around with it. Okay. So. Uh, there you go. A couple of quick poses. Now you can add these to your pose library, and uh, and you got uh, we have an we have a rigged shark that we just animated. So in the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to build out uh, an underwater scene in which to put Bob and let him swim. We'll deal with some caustics and some god rays, um, and then all, all we have to do after that is light it, render it, composite it, and. Uh, and then we'll be good to go. So get up, get a bend, get a stretch, and we'll see you in the next one.